Having a great press release is one of the best ways of getting media attention and blood coverage for your music. But why exactly? A press release is basically like free publicity for you and your music. It tells reporters, journals and bloggers everything they need to know about you and your release. That's why for independent artists, being able to write your own press release is an amazing skill to have. So today I'm going to talk you through exactly how to write one. So before we start, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video here on the Dear Old Music YouTube channel. Remember to leave any comments or questions down below and we'll be in the comments section getting back to as many questions and comments as we can. So let's go. Okay, so before we dive in, there's something that you need to know. Do it yourself PR isn't easy. And one of the main reasons experienced PR execs are in high demand is down to one thing contacts. And this is because the best PR people within the industry have made strong and good relationships with tastemakers and influencers over the years. But that doesn't mean you have to fork out loads of money for good quality PR. And if your music is on point, then there's no reason why a good self-written press release won't get picked up. So what should a good press release include? The best way to think about it is to imagine that you are the music blogger, the journal, the reporter, or whoever is on the receiving end of that press release. What would draw you in and what would make you keep reading? Remember, essentially, you're just pitching yourself. So make it count and don't hold back. Okay, so the first things first, and this is actually probably the most important thing I'm gonna say for the entire video. So pay attention. Make it easy for the recipient to read. And I know it sounds simple, but I mean, if they can't read it, then you've already lost. Just imagine that you're the music blogger and you're receiving loads of emails, hundreds of emails and press releases every single day. You're probably gonna give each one a quick once over and make a judgment relatively quick on whether it's worth your time to keep reading or not. And this is why it's important that your press release has all the relevant and most important information right at the top at a first glance. And another thing to keep in mind that music bloggers are busy people. So even if they're interested in your news, they may just copy and paste chunks and bits and bobs out of your press release into a new post without even contacting you. So you really need to make sure that you'll be happy with whatever you've sent them and that whatever you sent them, you wouldn't mind it being on a blog or post somewhere just as it is. So next up is the subject line. An exciting and an attention grabbing subject line can be make or break for your press release. So imagine a crowded inbox. If you have a great subject line, it can make the difference between your email being ignored or being opened. Let's look at this example. Awesome band release new single. It isn't really a great subject line, but that doesn't mean you can't make it interesting by adapting your pitch. Maybe you're going on tour, supporting a well-known band, artist or musician, or maybe you're tackling a thought-provoking issue. You could have a really interesting video, or maybe you've worked with or supported well-known artists. Mentioning something like that could actually make all the difference. But the main thing is to remember that your subject line should be memorable to really grab the receiver's attention and make them want to read more. Because once they're in, then you're in, and you've got such a higher chance of being put out on their blog posts. Now this is a tricky one, but I would say this is one that you really want to avoid. Sending attachments. Already in this day and age we're living in, downloading any attachments from anyone via email is quite risky. Bloggers and civilians alike don't really want to run the risk of opening attachments from strangers and different people online when it could be a virus. And most of the time when you send an email to a blogger with an attachment, it usually gets deleted automatically straight away and a lot of the times it just bounces back. So how do you get them to hear your music? So the way to get around this is rather than attaching audio files, copy and paste your press release and make sure the links are included to the popular streaming platforms that your music's on. And if your music isn't officially out yet, then what you'll need to do is to create a private SoundCloud link or a unlisted YouTube link. And then you'll be able to share it and send it to a number of people in advance of the release. You can create a private SoundCloud link simply by using the platform's uploader. Just select private on the basic info tab and you'll see an orange padlock symbol that now indicates that your track is private. And you'll be able to share that around to whoever has the link, but no one else can search for it. Or you can always set up an unlisted video instead. Literally just head over to youtube.com, upload your video and when it's uploading or once it's finished, make sure you select unlisted at the end. So apart from music, what else should you link to your press release? Adding links to your press release is a great way to set yourself apart from others. So make sure to include links to your socials, websites, press shots and anything that can link to what you're releasing and promoting. And just to reiterate, music bloggers are very busy people. They're not going to go out of their way and spend time searching for you online. 
It just doesn't work that way. So adding links to your press release will make it so much easier for them to find you. So you really wanna minimalize any risk of them not seeing or reading the rest of your press release because they can't find you online. And another thing, this is really important to make sure that you've tried and tested the links that you include within your email or attached to your press release. Because it's great if you can make all the info very easy and attainable, simple for them to find. But again, if the links are broken or expired, then kind of makes it a bit pointless. One easy way to avoid this is to set up a Dropbox or a Google Drive or even a OneDrive account so you can update the links and also feel secure that the links won't expire. And in there you can have a link to your press release, to your website, pictures, logos and even a longer artist bio. That way they are all saved and organized in one place. You'll know that they're working and also they'll come in handy for another release, whether it's a single, a project or even a music video. So let's go for an example of a press release line by line. But please remember, this is just an example. There's loads of different ways that you can approach and write your own press release. We know that this method has worked for a lot of musicians in the past, so I wanna share it with you. First things first, you wanna start by adding a personal touch. Now this isn't a universal rule, but adding a personalized message above your press release in the email can be a really good way to start building relationships with these bloggers, these journals, and these different reporters. This doesn't need to be an essay, in fact, it really shouldn't be. Just a quick hello is fine and including their name or the name of the blog right at the top is really gonna help out. For example, you could say hi and then the name of the blogger. I think my band or artist or myself would be really good on your, insert the name of the website or the blog here and then end on, I really hope you get an opportunity to check us out and I appreciate your time. Literally as simple as that. It's about feeding their ego and right away they know that you know what their blog is, who they are, and that you actually read it yourself. So then you wanna write a great header. So think of this as the sort of title to your press release. So you might say something like this. Band announces debut release and a support slot for another band. It's basically about you telling the reader the main focus of your release and what you wanna shout out about. And also to make sure that you write about yourself in third person, as if someone else is writing this press release about you. So the next, you wanna kinda of hit them with a really good standout image, nothing that's gonna fill up the entire page, but definitely something that shouts out to them and that they'll see and be interested in. A good quality press shot can make all the difference to your press release. Right away, it gives the reader an image of who you are as an artist and a better feel for what your music might sound like. And plus it shows that you know exactly what you're doing and it gives you that credibility straight away. Links to your music are next. This will usually be a direct link to your music on any big platform, whether that's Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, or whatever you utilize. If you've got a current music video that really represents you right now, this will be a good place to include that. And don't forget to include any links to buying tickets to any shows or gigs that you've got coming up. And even if you wanted to, you could include a free promotional link for this blogger, this reporter, this journal to be invited to your show and actually come and experience it in real life. So from here, your press release should be split into three paragraphs and I'm gonna talk you through each one. So paragraph one is known as the pitch. So this is where you wanna get all your main points across. Elaborate more on your heading and let the reader know the specifics. Paragraph two is all about stating the important information. So this is your chance to add a little bit more color to your press release and ultimately show the reader why your music should be featured on their blog or their publication. So you can talk about your new release, up and coming tours or shows, and really shout out about any kind of new news in a lot more detail. It's important to let the reader know why it's worth their time. So next up is paragraph three, the artist bio. And this one's kind of self-explanatory but you basically wanna let the reader know a little bit more about you, the artist. You could include details about your music, your style, your influences, where you're from. Anything along those lines, as long as it's relevant to the release that you're trying to promote. So those are the three main paragraphs, but there is an extra one. Paragraph four, the direct quotes. So this paragraph, the final paragraph, is where you'll feature any quotes or any statements about you and the news that you're promoting. So this could be about you, your music, any up and coming releases, any gigs or shows announcing very soon. So you'd have a quote like, this is the best artist ever, followed by the name and where that person works, the publication that it's from, the brand behind it. So that could be Joe Bluggs from Music Mac. But don't worry if you haven't got any quotes because this is more dependent on the artist and the type of music and news that they're sharing. So just do what works best for you and if you can, 
piece together anything from an old interview and utilize it here, it would be a great place to put it. And lastly, you wanna sign off your press release with contact details and links to your social media, plus your website and your press kit if you have one. And a press kit is just another version of a press release, but a little bit more detail, something that a journalist can utilize and take information from to actually create their blog around whatever you're putting out or promoting or releasing. And so important, just like I mentioned before, please make sure all the links you've included are working before you send off your press release to any of these bloggers. All right, so this brings us to the end of the press release writing masterclass. We've covered everything that there is to know about writing a great press release that will get you noticed by music bloggers and press reviewers. From subject line to links to attachments, plus a line by line breakdown of all the things that you need to include, you're now fully in the know about how to create your own press for your next big release. But before you go, obviously make sure you subscribe, but I wanna make sure that you guys are fully kitted out with all the tools you'll need to start your own press release. So we built our own press release template that you can utilize and it'll make it a lot easier for you to create your own press release and it's down below in the description. Ditomusic.com forward slash en forward slash blog and all the information's there. And that's it, so from me, Vital, and the rest of the Ditto Music team, I wanna say love and blessings. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I will catch you guys in the next one. More love, more powers. Until next time, peace.